All right, we're back today with another project. This is the 85 C10 short bed. Um, it is a two-tone, kind of the, I'd say more of the rare two-tones in a square body, not not like this, just your normal. I guess you'd call that a normal two-tone. This is more of a, kind of a different two-tone yeah. look. And it's only a two-year scheme too yeah, so. 85 and 6 only this kind so. of scheme so anyway what we're going to be doing to this truck is uh first off we bought this truck almost a year ago it's exactly how it was when we got it done a few things to it not a whole lot uh, that's what brings us to what we're going to do today tonight next several nights so uh as you can see it's already been it's lowered it's been lowered it's they the, who we got it from said it's a two and a half spindle up front and then a spray hanger drop and drop shag in the back making the four two and a half four so i mean it it, it looks all right but we're it could to look get it, better we're trying to get closer to the k5 here and uh so what we're going to be doing is we've got two inch lowering springs these actually came off our k5 when we re-lowered the front it had two inch springs we went to three these two inch springs. it had these we went to three inch springs so these are bell tech we'll be putting them on the front and these are three inch rear lowering leaf springs never done a leaf spring like this like we never used lowering leaf springs so this is a first for us this is the first for us so uh we want, want, want it to set somewhat around the K5. Yeah, that's, be that's the goal. It'll a half, six, seven, whatever. Well, uh, we, we've got a little adjustability yeah, with our rear a, shackle, so. And we got new shocks going on there. We yeah. use these Belltec shocks on everything. I mean, literally everything we've lowered, we've used Belltec lowered shocks. So uh, we'll talk about the truck for a few minutes, and then we're just going to get straight into lowering this thing. and go from there i think they call this like what medium dose skin or something. yeah something saddle. something like that they call the color of this thing dose skin tan and brown dose skin tan. yeah i don't see the brown there. i can't find it right now so anyway like we said this truck is as far as looks it looks exactly like it did when we got it it's it's got good patina to it i think um it's funny how this stuff fades like you know, the cab, the bed fade a little bit darker, and the fenders, the other side the same way, you'll see they kind of fade lighter, and the tan kind of bleeds through that a little more, so, um, you know, that. Something else about this color scheme, what they call it, ZY6? Yeah, that's the option color, that's the, or the yeah, option code. If you're, this is a, that's the option code for this, this type of two-tone. Yeah. The ZY6. Not to be confused with the uh, ZY5, which is the what? The hood stripes. The hood for stripes the, for like, what year is that? 78, 9, I maybe know. 80, I don't know. I don't know the exact years on them, but uh, yeah. the truck over there does have, at least I hadn't put them back on there. Yeah. As far as the, the whole truck itself, it's a little dinged up here and there, but for the most part, it's a straight truck really no rust in it yeah it has no rust all, all the rockers cab corners all in good shape one thing though this fender right here it's got a decent dent in it it's how it's how we got it like we said um what i'm assuming happened is whatever this hit they just let it go never done anything with yeah, it and it just and it it's got very bad over time or it's it's just chipped it it's just chipped time. away over time and led to that so if anybody out there does have one of these fenders a left hand fender for i think is it 85 and 6 85 and 6 has um, to be tan and brown has to be tan and brown don't want i don't care if it's a sierra yeah. or silverado it don't matter it don't matter um left fender I mean, you can ship it to us or whatever, because yeah. we thought we had one found that was about two hours from us, and then it didn't work out. So I would like to just swap one of these fenders out, but I mean, if we can't, we'll attempt to paint this and kind of patina it in. But 
We'd rather buy one. Uh, yeah, I'd rather so. buy one. So if anybody has one, it would we would pay. It would be greatly appreciated. We'd pay pretty well for one. So. Yeah, it'd be worth your time. And uh, other than that, I had to say that. So yeah, this is a Silverado truck, which meaning it's got every option just about you. You can get on these at the time. It's got power windows, locks, tilt, cruise, and uh, the inside is kind of iffy. Yeah, I mean it needs a lot of stuff in here. But they, somebody has cut the doors for speakers, which I can't stand. No, um, it's got no carpet in it. It's got no headliner. It's got all the trim pieces, which is a plus, but no board so yeah it's got no board so we're gonna have to get one of our boards yeah. we got over here these door panels i really don't care for those door panels yeah it's a, little, a lot of carpet going on yeah we've got we've got just about everything to do the inside of this truck so we'll get to that hopefully later in this video this bedside did fade a little different from the cab and it's faded more to like the front fenders and stuff it's got less of tan bleed through it and somebody put these stickers on there i'm assuming a long time ago yeah i don't think they were put on their factory i, I, I who knows really i don't I, think I the factory they were put on there when this truck was pretty new yeah it's got the step bumper on it and we didn't say uh, these are us mag yeah um ramblers just a gray face with a chrome lip on it Getting, the, uh, getting very popular these days. Got the key guards, or whatever you want to call them. Now, uh, well, we'll say this before. This truck used to have the, uh, the roof spoiler, like the front and the rear. Yeah, so that's why you see these screws. It on had there. like the visor up front and the duck bill in the back. They was, yeah. they was something back. They probably had a chin spoiler up front, too. Probably did. If I was guessing, because this don't have the... The lower valence, I guess you'd call it. But under here, look, this is actually the only thing we've done to this truck. We yeah. put a Holly carburetor on it. Still need to fine tune the time and the stuff on it. We hadn't really had a chance to um, say and do that yet. We haven't really been driving this truck, so. Yeah, we've probably put a total of mm, uh, maybe 70, 80 miles on it. If that. We got it. We just hadn't had time to drive. Yeah. We've been messing with all this other stuff, so we hadn't, hadn't really messed with this truck since we bought it, really, other than putting this carburetor on it and fuel filter. We rerun the, redone the fuel line to the fuel pump, up to the carburetor, and then put that carburetor on it. Yeah. But the story we got behind this truck is... It, it's <clears throat> actually pretty interesting. We got that it was bought well, I wouldn't say bought. Well, it was acquired. It was acquired by a dealership. When it was new. When it was new, sat in their lot for so many years, was barely drove, and then I'm assuming 90s, mid 2000s, maybe my 90s, early 2000s. It, or not earlier, we don't know. I have no idea. This is a story we was told, that this is a motor out of a, probably a C3 Corvette, Again, what we was told, like, it makes a difference, the, the, you know. The dealership this truck set at, <clears throat> this is, I guess it's like a shop truck, yeah. whatever dealership it was at. They used it for so long, parked it. They had a Corvette motor there, and they swapped this Corvette motor in it. Well, it's got aluminum intake. It's got a small cam in yeah, it. it's just, got a small cam in it. Just enough to hear it, which, um, you know. You'll hear it later in later part of this video. Yeah. So the dealership was supposedly swapped a Corvette motor they had into this. So this is a 350. The factory of this truck would be a 305. It's got a 700 R4 in it. Kind of a quick rundown of the thing. Kind of, that was the story we got with it. And so whether it's true, I don't know. That's, it's a good story yeah. though. So we'll go. We'll go with it. Yeah. So that's kind of a quick rundown of this thing and. Uh, like we said, what we're going to be doing, <clears throat> we'll be re, I guess you could say re-lowering it. We're just going a little bit lower with it. We're not going to be running these wheels and tires on it. We've got another set we're going to throw on there. And hopefully they look good. Hopefully they look good. 
So you'll see that by the end of this video. And so uh, we're going to get to work. We're going to get this thing jacked up, start with the back. And one thing to point out before anybody else points it out for us, yes, this truck is on a lift, okay? You see this lift is not wired it's up. It's not wired up. So we're going to use jacks. And before, we, before anybody said anything, it's on a lift. Why don't you lift it up and do it? We won't, well, we can't. We can't because the lift ain't wired up yet. So that's why we're going to be putting a jack up here. So anyway, we're going to get with it and get this thing started. All right, so we got the leaf springs out. As you can see, here's the old. And this is what we're going back with. You can kind of kind of tell the <coughs> this one has got way more extreme of a a curve than that there at the bottom. So yeah, <clears throat> yeah a lot of these factory leaf springs, you know, at this point in their life, they're they're pretty wore out too. Yeah. So. I don't know, this should give us give us what we're looking for. We were hoping for a couple inches, they'll make two inch drop yeah. leaf springs, lower leaf spring, they'll make three inch, so we've got everything out there. And there's that uh front hanger drop we was talking about earlier and the shackle, so uh the old shocks on there, we gotta pull them off. We're leaving them on there right now to keep the rear end from trying to walk one way or another here. So yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get these in and uh, get everything bolted back up and try to get the back on the ground and see where it's gonna sit. So we'll do that and see you then.
All right, so I've started getting this interior out. Got that door panel off, took that seat belt out. Starting to take the trim around the top off. Uh, probably go ahead and pull the dash and uh, the seat. I'll probably wait and do it last. But while I was doing that, Cam was out here and he's got driver's side, driver's side all buttoned up. All done. So you moving on to the yeah, passenger gonna, side? The passenger side, we're just taking that out, but we're gonna show uh, <clears throat> just a comparison here of the spring to the factory one. It it's, it don't look a whole lot right now, but you gotta realize too that this spring will compress a whole lot more than this one. Yeah, this, this one was basically just stiff. This is about how high it was, you know, when it was on the ground. It this thing didn't compress hardly yeah, it didn't, any. This thing. I don't know, I guess it's so old it just won't compress anymore. Most of the time they wear out. Yeah. But I have noticed a couple this of these. This thing up. is like stupid stiff in the front with these on there. It is. So anyway, we'll get this passenger side knocked out while you're doing that and get these wheels on as soon as they look like. That's right. As you seen there, we got this the front lowered on the ground, and well, there's a problem. Yeah, a little bit too high for what we were going for. If you stand back and look at it, I don't know. Yeah, you can't tell much about it on the lift. Right well, here. the back is tucking some tire, and well, for reference, the back fender wells are a couple inches lower than the front, anyways. But we're nowhere near it up front here so we have yeah. the problem solved hopefully though we uh yeah we hope we ain't got these lowering springs that should get us down a little more and we think we found our whole problem with our we've got this certain pair of lowering springs now that's kind of gave us problems for about two years well we'll talk more about it after this so the ones that came off this k5 and so when we get them off we'll, we'll, we'll go them. more in depth yeah, we'll go more in depth after we get them off. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this back apart and get them on it and go from there. We literally just got this thing back on the ground, rolled it out from the lift, and mm, fixed it. Fixed the problem. You can tell from the before and after here. That's a good couple inches. Yeah, it it, it needed every bit of it. It did. did. So. I mean. Just and look. The, the front is going to look a little bit lower on this side because the floor is slow for this drain right here. So it's just going to be a little bit lower over here. But it. But man, does it look good. It, those, uh, and I don't know if we even mentioned or not these wheels. 20 inch Detroit steel Del Rays. Um, if you don't know anything about them, they're like made to. They're uh, made to mimic. They, uh, this, this wheel right here. 
just in an oversized version. Yeah, 20 inch rally wheel. Yeah. Several other brands make them, but in my opinion, it's the best looking one. Yeah, Detroit Steel makes, in our opinion, the best looking yeah. oversized rally. Well, they originally were gonna put on this 79 Bonanza over here. They were gonna go on that when it got done, and but I mean, they were kind of tempting to so sitting here. Yeah. They fit this truck well, this color. Oh, stuff. yeah. So we ended up putting them on here, but like I said, they're both 20s all the way around. The front, the 20 by nine, the back mm -hmm. is a 20 by 11. Yeah. With a five and a half back space on it. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's all she wants. Yeah, this is the, this is about the limit for these wheels. Cause yeah, I mean, we pushed, we have barely a hand right here and so the other side i think well for one thing too this bed when it was put back on this truck before we got it it was shifted over to one side too far so we're gonna yeah. have to move it back over so there's more room on this side than there is that side this is about the limit like you said for for a 20 by 11 wheel and a stock rear stock end, yeah stock axle links and everything you're so, not going to get one with much more dish than that so that's I mean that that feels every bit of that yeah. rear fender well out. and it it just looks good. I mean that's all you can say about it. Yeah. So we're gonna say something about these springs too. So uh, well, let's rewind way, way, way back in the day. Yeah, back uh, four years ago. On this thing. Yeah, about I guess it's about March, April of uh, eighteen when we lowered the K five. We bought a four six kit for Bell Tech kit. And uh, I guess we never realized. That or it, the, it never specified how you was getting the four up front, so really. We, we assumed it was a two-inch spindle, two-inch spring. You know, I was thinking these are two-inch springs. And so uh, when we had the ordeal with this K5, thinking, you know, it looks squatted. And then we went back and put a three-inch spring, thinking this is a two. Yeah. And so when we put this two-inch spring on this truck... We're like, that's way too high, you know, yeah. and it only looks like it's about an inch shorter. So, so we've determined, uh, we think we got a three inch spindle on this K5 with now a three inch now spring. A three inch spring. So that this thing's about a six up front, and we ended up putting a three inch spring on this. So, and it's got a two and a half spindle. Two and a half spindle. So that's about a five, but the K5 is still got it beat. So it's still yeah. lower. The K5 is drivable. For the most part, see. But that's another piece of the puzzle on this thing. That's that was that was our major hurdle we had to get right over. Now, especially uh, we had to wait on these springs like two weeks. Yeah. I know that's shorter, but I ordered them for like three oh, yeah. weeks. I, I actually them. ended up ordering another set because these got lost supposedly. And they, what well, do you know? You order one set one day, the next day the other ones, the first pair ships or is arriving so anyway yeah uh something else we mentioned on this thing that we were planning on doing was buffing it and uh i buffed three spots on here just to kind of get a feel get for a feel what it's going to do one this hood and this is compounded foam padded you can tell the difference oh yeah from uh this this tan just gets really chalky and all that patina on there yeah. is going to look good but and so uh and this this door if you can tell it's a little bit it's kind of shiny kind of shiny compared to other stuff we put some kind of preserver stuff on yeah. it yeah just to, just to try it out to, to determine whether if we need to buff it or or put that on it and i'm i'm 100 we're, we're sold on buffing yeah i'm i'm sold on buffing it this is a spot right here on this bedside that's kind of got the brown faded in it and it really almost looks cleared but yeah it looks clear i mean you can see it the dull to the shiny and then uh the one more spot on this side just to kind of oh, brown on there. the solid brown and, we and well, looking at it right now you can't tell but it's just high metallic look like a daggum bass boat we're making progress you know a uh, seat got picked up today to get recovered yeah so hopefully have that thing back Still got to do in all the inside stuff. Yeah, still got to paint everything. Got it all stripped out. Waiting on a bunch of parts from a bunch of different places. Uh, so yeah. All we can do now is hope. Wait, got to paint some pieces and then uh, 
something to the grill on this thing. Oh yeah. You said something about the grill. This is a new grill. It had a new it had tab one put in it and the headlight buckets when we got it. But the the, the chrome strip here that's supposed to be painted. Which Tainted. they're all painted, but they flake off chrome. Yeah. So we're gonna get this out, respray it, tan, fix some dents in it. Yeah, it needs a few dents. Uh, we just got the grill emblem and the hood ornament in today, so. Yeah. I mean, we're getting parts in. Yep. So we got it lowered. Um, I can't really, I don't know what we're going to do next to it. I need to start painting interior. Yeah. Uh, laying some sound deadening. Yeah. Probably, probably, probably a lot of time lapse from this yeah. point, but we'll jump in here and there and talk about some stuff. And then, especially before we start buffing it, I'll, yeah. I'll explain oh, yeah. some more. So uh, we're going to do that and keep getting at it, keep going. So. Yeah. Thank you.